Welcome to the last video in this Sage Business Cloud Accounting series. Thank you so much for watching this series. If you've been with me since the beginning, a real thumbs up to you. Thank you so much for the support. I really do appreciate it. In the previous video, I went through recording bank receipts. In this video, I'm going to go through bank payments. And surprise, surprise, it's very straightforward and very much identical, very similar to um, recording bank receipts. So we go to the top here, new, we click on purchase slash payment rather than sales receipt. Once again, we have three options up here. We have a supplier payment, so payment to a supplier. We have other payments and customer refunds. So supplier payment, let's bring up our supplier, the bank account that the money was paid from, the method, let's say electronic, the date of payment and the amount paid. Well, they've got two invoices on their account. Um, so let's just say we paid for both. We click save. And hey ho, that payment has been recorded. It's very straightforward, very simple. Let's go back to purchase slash payment. We can enter another payment. So the supplier option, the supplier is optional this time. Business bank accounts. This will be for payments that aren't to a supplier with a credit invoice. Let's say this one is for bank charges. So bank charge October 2019, it was £5.58. There's no VAT. If there was, we would just select that here. We click save and let's just put 550 out here. Click save and then that's all done. Obviously, if it's a customer refund, we just use the customer refund. We choose the customer and the amount to refund. So very straightforward, very simple. Now I'm aware that I've gone through all the basics in about 13 videos and all of them have been quite short and to the point. This tutorial has been all about teaching you the basics and familiarizing yourself with the software. If you need to know other features of Sage Business Cloud Accounting, then I do offer one-to-one -one online tuition. Feel free to drop me an email um, to ask about that. But there is a link on my website at freebookkeepingaccounting.com. Just go to services. I also offer email support for Sage Business Cloud Accounting. Once again, send me an email, ask me about it, or just go to the services section on my website. If you want to learn things like bank reconciliations, VAT returns, then I'm here to help you. Once again, I can train you on that or provide support by email. Watching me use the software is obviously completely different when it comes to your business or accounting, bookkeeping for a business. So it is helpful to have personalized support. But if you don't choose that option, then I do hope that this series has been helpful. I appreciate any support I can get, so please like, please share, please subscribe, and please watch more of my videos. I have numerous tutorials for Sage, but also for other accounting software like QuickBooks Online, and for bookkeeping and accounting in general. I have hundreds of videos that are all for free. No registration is required. Please go ahead and watch them. It's a great way to support me is by watching my videos and given a thumbs up on YouTube. Thank you for watching. I wish you all the best with Sage Business Cloud Accounting. There are links below if you want to open a free trial account with Sage Business Cloud Accounting. You don't have to sign up your credit card or anything like that. There's no obligation to actually go for a paid account. You can open a free trial, mess around the software. That's the best thing to do is play around and practice. You know, with anything, practice um, helps you to improve, you know, to gain experience. And that's what I suggest you do 
with Sage Business Cloud Accounting is to gain some experience by just practicing. My videos combined with practice will really help you to f familiarize yourself with the software and get to be able to use it effectively. Thank you for watching.